are you all today? Welcome back to Minecraft Survival, episode 11. In today's episode, we are going to construct an automatic sugar cane farm. The reason we are making this farm today is because with sugar cane, you can make paint. To build this farm, you will need any solid building blocks, some staircases, some sand, some sugar cane, some glass, some observers, some pistons, redstone blocks, some hoppers, some power rails, some redstone dust, water buckets, some minecart with hoppers, and some chests. Now this may seem like a ripoff, but trust me, this farm produces so much sugar cane and it is totally worth building this. Begin by placing a chest on the ground with a hopper funneling into it. Then next to the hopper, you want to place a solid building block. Next to that, you want to place a solid redstone block. And then we're going to go 14 blocks. And then place another solid redstone block. And then pillar up by two using your regular solid building block. On the other side, we also need to pillar up by two using our solid building blocks. Next, we wanna go ahead and place our powered rails like so. They don't all have to be powered rails. However, it will make the farm much, much faster. Next, make sure you leave a gap of three and then build the exact same thing. Next, I need to place sand above the powered rails. They will float, but that is absolutely okay. Next, what you want to do is place oak stairs behind the sand. Make sure you curve them, just like so. Once all the staircases have been placed, you want to place water inside of each and every staircase. You may want to make yourself a water source to make this job a lot easier. Next, you're going to want to add a solid layer of building blocks above the staircases. Then you're going to want to add a layer of pistons on top of your building blocks. Then we need to add a layer of building blocks in between the pistons. And on top of those building blocks, we add a layer of redstone dust. Next, we need to place a layer of observers on top of our pistons. And it's super important that the red dot faces towards the redstone dust that we've previously placed. Now it's finally time to place our sugar cane all along the sand. Now all we have to do is place glass on the outside. Make sure it completely covers the sugar cane. That looks good. Now we're almost done here. The final thing we need to do today is place our minecart with hoppers down on the powered rails and now our farm is completed however i'm gonna make it look good much better now i added some lighting using shroom light and torches just so no mobs spawn you know anyways how this farm works is the sugar cane will grow past the pistons when it reaches the observers the observers will detect that the sugar cane has reached its height limit the pistons will then push the sugar cane onto the sand and then when this minecart with hopper goes below the block which the sugar cane is sitting on it shall pick up the sugar cane and then when it travels over the hopper the sugar cane shall be funneled into the collections chest and that's actually going to do it for today's episode next episode those mobs are going to get exactly what they deserve Minecraft Survival, episode 11. It's officially over. Good.